I'm Bev. I was born with a gift to see what's wrong with people's fashion choices and instantly point it out. Since I was born with this gift, my one goal in life is to help other people turn around their awful lives and make them as glamorous as I am. This is Bev's Dress. Exhibit A, Allison. I found out through Allison's friends that she needed help. She was about a six on the fashion scale, out of a hundred. I needed to be gentle. Hi, Allison. Hi. You've been selected for a free makeover. Not interested. Your friends warned me that you would be extremely confident for someone, you know, who dresses like this. Fine, whatever. I don't want to go back to work anyway. Okay, great. So tell me about you, Allison. I work at a nonprofit. Ew. Your friends reached out to me because uh, they think you're having a fashion emergency. But it was Kathleen. That the only reason she has a job is she's sleeping with my boss. Because she looks amazing. You can cut that thing I said about Kathleen, right? Oh, yes. We can totally cut it. The first person said, Allison looks like she got dressed while blindfolded inside a Salvation Army. Doesn't really seem fair. Another person said, Allison looks like that tall, nerdy chipmunk from the all-female Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, the chimpettes. Yeah, her name's Jeanette. Yeah, yeah, you look like her. Yeah. But, like, with beadier eyes. Wait, are these things people actually said, or are you just insulting me? Oh, no, these aren't quotes. These are just pictures of me. I memorized the quotes. This is cute, right? Allison, this is your old wardrobe. Don't you just love presents? Um, how did you get in my apartment? That's not important. You need to focus here. Why did you wrap it if you're just going to throw everything out? Because it's what's on the outside that counts. Besides, we're not throwing it out. You're going to light my clothes on fire? No, Allison. You are. I'm not. Okay, fine. I am. Oh, but first, we have a budget for you to buy a whole new wardrobe. Okay. So your budget is $20 minus uh, whatever Mike and Ike's cost. I got really hungry on the way over. So your goal is to go out and I want you to buy things that are sort of vintage, but like really modern, do you know? And definitely nothing that's revealing, okay? Like really conservative, but like a little bit slutty. So, okay, happy shopping. Okay. Honestly, I'm frightened. I feel like if I don't do what she asks, she's going to break into my apartment again. So, how was it? Okay, let's see what we have here. No, definitely not. Oh, you know what? I love this one. Yeah, thanks, I did too. But you know what, I don't really think you could pull it off, so I'm just gonna keep it. Okay, it looks like everything you bought is just exactly like the clothes you already owned. Yeah. I had to buy all new clothes because you set mine on fire. Yes, but you were supposed to rise from the ashes. It sort of just looks like you took a s*** on them. I bought these with my own money. Oh my god, you have money? Can you take me shopping? Are you f***ing kidding me? You've wasted my time. Today I learned that people don't change just because you light all their clothes on fire. Sometimes people have to hit rock bottom before they can really change. Now, Allison, she hadn't hit rock bottom yet, but I'd like to think I helped her reach a new low. She was kind of a monster. I feel violated. I'm gonna have a drink, and then I'm gonna call my super and have my locks changed. But yeah, I mean, I guess I learned that I don't wanna be friends with anybody who would send me on one of these shows.